switch things over a little bit. I don't know if you saw Alex Cora's comments today on President Trump and the Puerto Rico situation. He spoke at length today about the fact that he said the country really suffered, kind of fighting back at what Trump tweeted out earlier. So what's your take on that whole situation? And also having athletes and managers and coaches get involved politically. Well, we've seen it a lot in the NBA, right? You know, Greg Popovich and Steve Kerr have been very outspoken in their criticism of the president. We've seen uh, certainly there's the you know, the ongoing debate about the national anthem in the NFL. Uh, you know, in, in my reporting for the AP, you know, the president certainly is eager to stoke those flames. That's an issue he thinks is a winner for him. He's going to you'll be hearing from him again about this between now and the midterms. Um, but it's a little bit different to have a baseball uh, player. Except, but we have not seen as much of that from the MLB. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't blame Cora for saying that. I mean, his the president's. Uh, tweets this today were factually incorrect. Uh, and, you know, I mean, he is basing it off, you know, I was in the White House all day today, and, uh, you know, his aides, well, they're somewhat baffled by them, but they suggest that perhaps it was born out of, you know, the relatively low death total when he visited for the first time in two weeks, and he has refused to sort of adjust that. And, he, and you know, it is, as he tweeted, he's blaming Democrats, he's blaming the media for making too much of it. Um, but it's not helpful, I think, to, well, really anyone, but particularly to those who are still suffering in Puerto Rico. There's the, the you know, power is still out in some places. There's thousands of people are dead. And to have him sort of seemingly belittle what is the hardest moment of a lot of people's lives, uh, you know, in order to make his self look better, to score some political points, that's hard, you know, that's hard for some to take. And I think Cora sort of expressed a frustration for that. And of course, you know, now it, it, I think there were a lot of people, people close to the White House, people, allies of the president who we talked to today, who are frustrated that he is choosing this moment to relitigate that storm when obviously we have another one, you know, right now impacting the United States.